So we have two devices right now in my left side. I have a real Pixel device which is having Pixel OS pre-installed. The second one in my right side, I have Mi 11X which is having a Pixel Experience custom room. Both of these are real Pixel but which are the major differences you will find after installing some of these custom rooms. Let's find out. Firstly, the back gesture. If you use Pixel Experience custom room, by the way, this is, these are based on Android 13, Android 14 based Pixel Experience, at least while making this video is not available yet. So we will talk about that later on. If you stock Pixel, right in my case, if I use Pixel device in Android 13, we have this kind of back gesture, but because we are using a custom room in Pixel Experience in my other device, that is having the new gesture. Secondly, in the quick settings panel, even in the Pixel Experience, we'll get the dark quick settings panel, same with Pixel Experience. But one thing, let me tell you, if you use a Pixel Experience custom room you will get the separate wi-fi and mobile data tiles which are not available in the normal pixel device if you use that for example if i use this pixel experience in my right hand open the editing options you will find wi-fi and mobile data separate tiles options available and you can simply click to add or remove like unlike which if you use a stock pixel in pixel device you have to drag and drop but in pixel experience simply one click and done Another thing is the vibrate to indicate call status. The option is present in Pixel Experience plus custom room. It's not available in stock Pixel because I did not found that. Maybe it's available by default, but the option to enable or disable, it's only present in Pixel Experience custom room and it is also one of the differences between the stock Pixel and this one. Another thing is the scramble pin layout. You can do that in Pixel Experience plus custom room, but you can't do that in stock Pixel, which could be a very useful thing. You can scramble the pin layout when unlocking device. As you can see in my left side, I have my stock Pixel where I do not have that option, but else other options are actually kind of same here in both because this is one of the things which you have to keep in mind. So it's kind of an upgrade in Pixel Experience. One more thing is a lot of you, approximately 99% of the users use gesture navigation. You have some extra options to customize in Pixel Experience Custom Home. For example, you can disable the gesture indicator. You have the option to customize or modify the edge touch area, which you can't do in normal Pixel device. Like in my case, if I use my Pixel device, which is Pixel 7a, in which the Pixel OS or basically Pixel Room or Pixel Stock Pixel is pre-installed. As you can see, I only have the option regarding back sensitivity for low, for left or right, and that digital assistant option. I can't hide that navigation bar at the bottom or I can't choose the back sensitivity, etc. I can choose the back sensitivity, but not the height. Including this, if I move on to the power button, you will find the advanced restart option, which is present in Pixel Experience, but you do not have that option in the stock Pixel. So if you want to boot into custom recovery by any chance, or if you have installed Pixel recovery, if you have any custom recovery installed, if you want to boot into bootloader mode or fast boot mode, you have to do that with the ADB commands or any other methods. Swipe to screenshot is also one of the major things and quite useful thing, but it's not present in stock pixel. You can't do that. You have to choose from keys to take a screenshot, but in pixel experience custom room, it's quite easy. Swipe three fingers to take screenshot. It's present here. And by the way, this feature is also not present in lineage OS custom room. That's quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. One more thing is we have some separate buttons options available in Pixel Experience Custom Home where we have system navigation. That control playback feature is also present. By the way, this feature named as control playback can be easily enabled with the help of some useful options from Shizuku or even without root in other Pixel devices or any other device very easily. But it's available in Pixel Experience Custom Home. So I just wanted to let you know. Including this buttons option, we also have some status bar customizations. Let me tell you, if we move on to the status bar options, you will find the network traffic monitor. It's also one of the customization thing, which is not present in my stock pixel device. Including this one, some battery status options are present. We have some options related to brightness slider or few of the customizations are available here and there. So all the things which I just wanted to let you know, I have already shared with you. One is Pixel Experience Plus Edition and uh, one other device, which is Pixel, Google Pixel 7a. Both of them installed a stock OS. One thing, tell me, let me tell you that because one is based on Android 13, second one is also based on Android 13. Android 14 based Pixel Experience versus stock Pixel. The video is coming very soon. Stay tuned. And this is all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.